Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Bunny Goddess 33 and this is our Minecraft world, me and my husband. That's the we. Um, so we are moving along the ring road. We we arrived on a lake and Bunny's insane and loves building roads. So I built a road all the way around the lake. So what we're doing in this tour is we're going all the way around. We went from the spawn point across the lake and now we're going to go around the whole thing. So we just finished the first section and we've moved into the beautiful, my one of my favorite locations, is our pink complex in the desert, which is like just phenom. There's a lot of insanity here. There's a lot of bunny stuff going on. So this is where we arrive. You arrived this way through the beautiful pink lagoon. So pretty. This is where you can sit and put your little feet in and enjoy before you get to the complex, but also, you know, while you live here, sure. So this is your entry point over here. And we arrive this way and then up the big stairs. Now, the reason these stairs are here is because I will tell you. So this is how we arrive. Ooh, ah, everyone wants a waterfall in their backyard. How did you make this bunny? I'll tell you, I lost my mind one day. One day, Dave was building us this gorgeous house right here right on the edge of this area because when we arrived by water there were dolphins everywhere and i was overcome with dolphins in the desert i just started crying it was so beautiful i said david we have to live here i know i just told the story but i'm telling you again in case you didn't see that one which is the video before this um so i said we have to live here and he built me this beautiful house right on the edge of the town which was so sweet he also uh put in a poppy garden for me because he is so sweet my husband is the best so here we are um, while David was building this, I was in the back and this used to be a self-contained lake up here that did not come into our backyard, but I was like, I want to know what's under the sand because I'm insane. So I started grabbing up all the sand and then all the water fell on me. So part of that excavation, um, show, uh, revealed all this sandstone and it was a very rough, I just recently filled this all in with sand to make it pretty and sleek. But this was very rough and just like whatever sandstone was here for a very long time until I went pink crazy and decided we had to make a beautiful pink complex. So now when you come to the back and it's pink everywhere, um, I'm also a very good waterbender now. This used to be a mess. Now it's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Probably I feel like I come back and I always want to do a little bit more. I add a little bit more pink here and there. But this is where you come to hang out. Sit by the waterfall and enjoy the waterfall the bunny built by accident. You see how this used to not be here? Okay, cool. Insanity, insanity. Then, hold on, we gotta get up here. So, we're gonna do this first because this is really fun. There's a secret um, situation down here. This is my favorite. This is my favorite spot. Um, in terms of mines in the game. This is a mine. But have you ever seen such a beautiful mine with so much sandstone? I love it. So like if you go back here, it's a normal mine and it gets normal eventually. But look how long it's this beautiful sandstone hallway. Like so long. And then of course I had to add some poppies because I'm insane. Um, so yes. I actually forgot to mention and forgot to show you, so I'll have to do it again another time. Uh, but I forgot to show you that there is a... The reason I'm obsessed with poppies and why it's called Poppy Lane and all this stuff is because right at the King's Garden, if you watch that video, if you turn to the left, which I completely forgot to do on our tour, there is a huge natural garden just filled with poppies. And so that is why I, I became obsessed with poppies in this, in this world. So now we have this secret little mine that you can't even see at the house, which is so cool. It was here before we got here. This, like, just is magical happened and you can get out without flying but i flew anyway so this house fuck every time pardon my french um so we had to put up trap doors uh because speaking of which i'm just gonna replace it right now or else i'm gonna forget a trap door because if you don't put up a trap door the um the locals come into your house and try to move in that is a true story so Yeah, there we go. Uh, so, we had to put up trap doors instead of regular doors because they'll just come in. It's really weird. Yeah, okay, cool. So this comes out to the backyard. So now you're here. Very cool with all the pink and the insanity. Wonderful. It's a nice little side door. Yes, got it. Do you hear him? He's nearby. 
Ugh, I hate that guy. Okay, so the unusual part about this building is you cannot get upstairs from inside. So inside is just like a haven from the crazies. No? No. This is real life, guys. There we go. Okay, cool. We're gonna leave it there. And hope it works. Um, cool. So, to get to the upstairs, there's stairs outside somewhere. We're gonna find it again together. How do we get up here? Oh, there they- No? I don't know. He must have built this in creative. Unless this is it. Yes, this is it. Okay. So there is a separate, uh, a separate staircase outside. Is he so cute? He really is very cute. So this is where, um, if you do it right, well, number one, great view of the, of the village. Just really great. We got this crazy monster walking around somewhere. I don't know anything about the lore of this game because I've only played in survival, uh, peaceful and creative mode, so I don't know anything about any of the monsters or anything, but he doesn't seem to be causing problems. So anyway, this is my garden that Hub's built for me. And then when you come over here, this is where you will cowabunga. Oh, I just totally messed up. But you cowabunga into the, into the pool. Isn't that exciting? I think it's exciting. It's a great view. And from here, you can see where we're headed next, which is that cool thing. That's where we're gonna go. We are not gonna go that way at this time. That's for a future future uh, adventure. Where's our downstairs? There it is. So we're gonna go down, we're gonna walk through town, say hello to the locals. Famously, this is the town where I was walking around and a cat killed a bunny. And in its wake, there was leather and I turned to David and said, I thought you said this was peaceful. And he finds this very funny. I was very serious. I was very disturbed. So this is our cute town. That's probably the killer cat right there. It looks, oh, hi, hi, sir. This looks very Davish, but I'm sure we didn't build it. So that's, ooh, hi, hello. Humans. It's a cool town though. I do like it. So we did build this little walkway right here. So this is like a totally new area that I started in a fit of insanity one day. Um, and we're not, we're not going that way on this tour. We're just gonna stick to the ring road tour right now. So here we go. This, um, this was the last part of the ring road that I finished. I actually finished it live on stream. You can find me on Twitch, Bunny Goddess 33. And um, it was very exciting. It took me a very long time to decide what color I wanted to come home to and I'm glad I waited because um, I had finally relaxed into creative mode and I was feeling less judgy of having instant access to everything so obviously in survival this is an incredibly expensive endeavor but for creative mode we had lapis to go so um, here we go we've seen uh, the the pink complex and the adorable town that my husband uh, moved us into because I was overcome with dolphin delight. And uh, that is all for today, folks. Next, we're going to go down this road and see see what's, uh, what's what the future holds. Have a beautiful day. Like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for sticking to the end. Lovely to see you.